Welcome back you lovely bunch, thanks for tuning in again, I hope you're all doing good. Look, today is a day that we're going to be painting this Marin Gestalt, I think it's a Gestalt, I forgot what frame I had then. So we're going to be painting this, we're going to be whacking on some decals, and I've got a whole bunch of polka dots, so we're going to go for a bit of a bit of a polka dot design on the frame. So I was chatting to Gareth from Spray Bike and he did actually say that I probably wouldn't need to actually base coat this frame because it's a brand new frame. There's a slight raise on these decals, I'm going to sand those off, sand everything all off here, remove all the stickers. But yeah, we're going to give it a light sand. And so the colours I'm going for, can you see this? We've got like a light blue, a fluoro yellow and a white. So I'm going to run you through what I'm going to do. I don't know if this is actually going to work, but I like the whole painting things in stages. So the plan is, I'm gonna do this section of the down tube in white. I'll put these on, they won't remain, but just they'll protect the white bit whilst I'm painting the rest of it. So after they're on, I'm then gonna do a fade, I think pink to blue. What we're gonna do is we're gonna whack a whole load of these polka dots on, and we're gonna go big to small all the way down the frame. And then we're gonna paint the whole thing white. So in the end, we should be left with like a mainly white frame, white lettering, but a pink to blue polka dot fade. So fingers crossed this works. So I'm still missing the clear coat, so I'm gonna get all the main bits done I think today. Hopefully the clear coat turns up, so it'll give it time to dry all nicely. I've gone for a blue fleck clear coat, and I think that should work really well on the mainly white frame. Is it really stupid to have a white winter bike? Anyway, I guess we should get sanding and crack on with this project. Right, let's get painting. Boop. So I've sanded the frame down, light sand. Oh, I'm not sure how clean this is gonna be. Like I can't feel any bumps on it. But painting without primer for me is a little bit, I don't know, it just weirds me out. But look what I found, these lids, these spray bike lids, look. Perfect for the bottom bracket. So I keep all the paint out of there. I've then cut a bunch of these little cotton buds. Can you see this? And I'm just gonna quickly plug any threaded holes with those. And then the last thing to block up is the headset. Doing this, I just realized that I didn't actually plug any of the holes on the fork, so it might be a slight mission to screw things in there. I think that's all done. Is that all done? And I found a random cap. I think it's probably fallen off the cupboard, but it also fits quite snugly there in the headset seat. So obviously for anyone that hasn't painted a bike before, you always need to tape up like the bottom bracket, headset, any holes, anywhere where there's thread, because if paint gets on that thread, it's gonna be an absolute nightmare to screw anything in. So I did actually remove my rear mech hanger, as you can see, and now we're ready for a bit of white paint. I'm only gonna do, well, something like that long, so it's gonna be that much white. So this decal will actually be in white, it's not gonna be in orange. But we're gonna put that over the white, so then I can paint over it in whatever color I want and the white logo will remain underneath. Well, that's the plan anyway. Right, let's go get the white done. I think the tractor cross bike, that's the next one we should paint, but right now we're gonna try and get these lined up perfectly on here, well as perfectly as I can get it, and then they'll be nice and white, and then we can put like more color on. So the reason as well that I'm not just gonna use decals and leave them on is, last time the decals split, they broke, and I feel that like by painting them on, it gives like a cleaner look. <laughs> like famous last words, it should give a cleaner look. Right, let's get these on. So the plan is now I will do a pink to blue fade on the frame and then once that's dry I'll stick on a bunch of circles and polka dots everywhere. Big to small I was thinking or just random, not really sure yet. So after it's all stickered up I'll do another final white coat all the way over and then we can peel off all these decals, all the stickers and it will reveal the awesome masterpiece underneath which should be a white marine logo and then a pink to blue polka dot fade. Maybe, <laughs> I'm hoping. But look, the fork is ready for some polka dots, so we're gonna bosh a load of those on now. Start the long process of boshing a load of these on all over the fork. Right, 
Remember, these are not going to be this colour. They're going to be pink after I've painted it, but that is the fault. All done. It's a bit of a waste of paint, like painting this pink, because it's not going to end up pink if I paint it white. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a bunch of stickers in here as well, just to fill out the gaps, because, you know, the more dots, the better. So I'm going to fill these in, and then we're going to take it outside and do the white coat. All right, let's go. Fork is all dry, nice and done. I'm having a bit of a dilemma, I'm gonna be honest. I've just done the frame, as you can see. It's like a pink, blue, pink kind of fade. And the plan was, well, to like stick those stickers on it like I have here, and then obviously as you peel them off, you have these like little pink circles, which is awesome. But, I love that color so much, I don't know if I wanna put stickers all over it and paint it white. I'm not sure. But anyway, whilst I think about that, we're gonna take these off. There's no denying this looks absolutely gorgeous, right? Look at this, beautiful. And what I wanna to do to this is make it slightly like this. Well, not slightly, like pretty much exactly like this. But the issue I have is I actually did the decals in white underneath. So I'm gonna to have to completely cover this in circles. Otherwise, when I paint the white over the top, you're not gonna see any writing. It's just gonna be white and white and really I should have done the decals in a different colour but we're going to try and do a bit of a cloud effect over it instead I'm kind of making this up as I go along we're going to salvage it and it's going to turn out awesome so I'm going to get a bunch of these on here I'll check back in with you this not look amazing this has turned where are you this has turned out better than I expected so I was talking about keeping the pink blue pink because it looks so amazing but I've never been so glad that I stuck to the plan it's very much proof of like trust the process okay so this might not be for everyone it is quite out there as far as paint job goes but honestly look at this does this not turn out absolutely beautiful look at that look at that logo oh, I think Marin are going to be well stoked on that looks Bloody amazing! Very, very close to being finished. I'm still waiting for the clear coat. I do also need to give it a bit of a wet sand because there's a few like, can you see this? There's a few like little bumps and lumps and because I didn't cover the pink when I did the blue, there's a little bit of overspray. So I'm gonna give it a wet sand, work out some of these imperfections before I do the final coat of the blue fleck clear from Spray Bike. So fingers crossed that turns up soon because I'm dead dead keen to build this up but this is proof you don't have to spend thousands sending your bike away to get it painted by some custom bike painter yes they will do a better job than i did that's undoubtable but also it will cost a hell of a lot more than like 30 pounds worth of paint from spray bike so look 30 quid that's what it got you awesome and no primer when gareth said to me you won't need to prime it it's a new frame it, that, that was just a bit alien and Again, trust the process. Gareth knows what he's talking about. The man runs a spray paint company specifically designed for painting bikes. So yeah, I trust you Gareth and thank you. You've saved me a bit of paint and a bit of time. This is not gonna be the funkiest winter bike ever. I mean, look at it, look at it. So stay tuned for a future video when we'll be building this up. I've got everything here in the box ready to go. Thank you as always for watching. Any questions about painting, let me know down in the comments. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.